I don't think the wall requires the wall to cor corner to corner. Okay, just the bad areas. Yeah, I think it's just. Yeah, I would say from here. Okay. To that corner. From the pole to the corner, like almost fifty percent of the wall. About fifty percent. Okay. So this customer hired us, Basement Wall Pros, to refresh his basement. These walls are peeling, they're cracked. So he wants to brighten his basement. He wants to bring it back to life. And also we're going to be installing a sump pump in the corner. He has a sump pump existing, but it's not functioning properly. The pump is all rusted out. So we're gonna install a new pump, new cast iron pump, uh, one third horsepower, and also a new uh, crock pot. Then also he's going to be installing, um, he wants us to install a uh, waterproof system along the perimeter of the wall. Uh, and um, So we're gonna do that too, also with this job. What you're looking at here in this scene is the scratch coat. This is the first coat. And what we like to do too, is we like to, anything sticking out of the wall, screws, nails, pipes, we like to hammer them in. Uh, we're putting on the glue. The glue is very important to make it so that the last coat will stick to the first coat. But the whole goal is to make it so that this cement doesn't crack. And also in our cement, we have fiberglass, fiberglass fibers. We are now installing what's called a mirror drain. And what it does is it acts as a barrier. So when water penetrates through the base of the foundation wall, the water is then diverted into the sump pump system. So the water fills up into the pot. There's the pump in the pot. Okay, it's a one third horsepower um, sump pump. And that sump pump has a float on it. Once the float reaches a certain level, once the water elevates that float, then the then the pump is actually act, is activated. Once it's activated, it pumps the water out of that pot and it pumps it up and then it pumps it out of the cellar. And what happens is you'll never see any water in the basement. The basement will be dry. The cement is dry enough to begin the smoothing process. So at this point, we're sponging the wall to make the wall nice and even and smooth and to prepare the wall for paint. So these walls are now flat, even just like the walls upstairs. These walls would be ready to paint in seven days. And the type of paint that we use is a really good high quality paint that doesn't peel and it lasts a very long time. And I always suggest to the customers to use white because white brightens the basement, it requires less lighting. As you can see, we came back a week later, we painted the walls and also we had resurfaced the floor and painted the floor battleship gray. We use quality paint, paint that doesn't peel or crack. Once a week, we post a new video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.